piping system is the lifeblood of the ship. And if we don't put quality products out there, that ship's not gonna do what it needs to do, whether it's a submarine or a carrier. The details we build every single day, we try to do with the utmost quality possible. So the detail pipe shop, we put out pipe details. You know, we, we work them from the start to the finish. We supply the ship with all the details they get in order to build the ship. So when we come to work every day, we gotta take it seriously. We gotta get our job done. We gotta put out quality product. But at the same time, you wanna have fun. And that's why when you look around the shop, you'll see things being named, such as Dave, the bending machine. We've got the pinball machine. And I think Bob and Sharon really fit into that product. So Bob and Sharon kind of came about due to necessity and, a, and quite frankly a little bit of, um, I guess you could say, being scared. We found out a few years ago that they were changing the JP-5 system. The JP-5 system, which is the jet fuel system, was changed by the Navy in order to enhance and, and help the longevity of the system over the course of its lifespan with the CBN-80 Enterprise and the CBN-81 Doris Miller. It was going from a thinner wall pipe to a much heavier wall pipe. And they were also changing our joint design from an easy fitting type to a very difficult fitting type. So we sat down and figured out that this is gonna really affect how we do things in the pipe shop. This is gonna be more crane lifts, you're putting more weight in people's hands, you're changing the joint type, which changes the way we have to prep the pipe. We found out that we were gonna be doing over 10,000 joints with this new type of joint. So we started brainstorming, coming up with ideas. We went to different shops, looked at some of the things they were doing. Again, we got the mechanics involved and just kind of put it all together with three or four different pieces of equipment that they use outside of the shipyard. Things they use for building cars, putting engines in. Um, the one piece on it is actually an elbow holder for welding machines. So we just kind of pieced it together and that's what created Bob and Sharon. I think the company really does a great job of finding new equipment, but a lot of the times they don't get the mechanic involved. So you see that new equipment just kind of pushed over to the side, not being used. Well, in this case, we got them involved heavily saying, hey, you're gonna be the ones doing this stuff. What can we do to help you? And they came up with the ideas, they came up with the designs, and it's something that they utilize on a daily basis. Sharon was designed to hold a tri-tool. So a tri-tool is a piece of machine that we use to prep the pipe. It weighs 84 pounds. So you don't want somebody picking that thing up and having to place it in a pipe, so we put it on a stand. Bob in particular is capable of holding elbows that weigh up to 200 pounds. I think it's actually rated for 500 pounds. The elbows we get, the heaviest one, is about 150, 160. So when you put it on there, you don't have to worry about it toppling over. It takes the mechanic out of place and puts it all on the machine, so the mechanic's not putting a strain on their back trying to hold it in place. We were given a challenge. When we first looked at it, we thought, this is gonna really change the way we fit pipe in the shop. You know, we've been doing it a certain way for a good 50, 60 years, however long it's been. To be able to come together as a team and come up with these designs and ideas, it really shows that you can accomplish anything.